so there is my PCB all ground out. A couple areas of mist, not too bad. Now, what you use, supposed to use is a PCB bit. Okay, I'm using a crappy Dromel rounded bit, the smallest I could find, and it doesn't have a good plunge rate, so it doesn't plunge in very well. Uh, the one bits you can get off Amazon, they're usually made, they're usually found in Hong Kong for some odd reason. I could barely find them in the U.S. for I don't know why, and the ones I did find in the U.S. are very freaking expensive. So Amazon.com had them. Um, and once we get those, we'll have another grind and take a look at the, the results tip for tat. But other than that, you know, I'm really happy with the, the progress of it. There's no doubt about it. It went right through this like butter. Very cool. Now what's kind of funny is the machine is replicating parts that makes up the machine. So that circuit board is this circuit board right here. So if I could go back in time and make that circuit board, I would definitely CNC it rather than chemistry lab it. But it's still kind of a cool concept that a machine can replicate its own parts. Right? Alright. Well, enjoy. And once I get those other bits, we'll have some more grinding fun. So there's my routed PCB. Took a couple tries to get the depth right. Um, still wasn't used to the depth. I got my brand new bits. Uh, they came via whatever. I don't know where these things came from. I know they're from China, but they're also warehoused somewhere else. And then they're shipped from Malaysia by a camel and all kinds of crazy stuff. So there it is. Very cool. They will chop up some stuff. So that's what's on my Dremel there. Uh, these blocks of steel add stability and lessen the vibration on the build. Just found some scrap pieces of really heavy steel. Yeah, it's heavy stuff. Good stuff. Alright. So excited. Alright, there we go. Not too bad. Now, what I did is I live traced this using Inkscape. This is not even in a CAD program. So, what I had to do was um, I inflated the pixels by two pixels and then live traced it. So there's going to be some spots in here I got to nail out, like right there. Those aren't supposed to be touching, but um, not too bad for my second route. The first route was way too deep. I mean, it was almost cutting a hole right in the board. But this one looks like really good. I can clean this up, no problem. So there's my routed PC PCB using a homemade CNC machine. Look at all that dirt. Whew. Man, it's everywhere. Good time to relocate the machine. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And if I have anything else, um, I will show you any kind of upgrade that I might have on the machine. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Enjoy.